ASEP's media relations recap for September 2016 launches with news coverage on the continued effort nationwide to eradicate veteran homelessness. On August 29th, ASEP hosted a press conference with Mayor Oscar Leeser, Congressman Beto O'Rourke, and the Veteran Affairs Department to officially announce the receipt of 13 additional vouchers to assist veterans in finding affordable housing. KFOX has the story. Veterans struggling with homelessness in El Paso are getting some help. Today, leaders at the El Paso Housing Authority announced 13 additional vouchers for veterans. The vouchers could eventually help veterans become homeowners. I was like most veterans. I was skeptical that I was eligible for uh, any of these programs. News comes after President Obama announced a 50% drop in veteran homelessness. And just days later, HACEP took part in the annual stand-down event hosted by the Veteran Affairs Department that brings public services under one roof to aid veterans. When you have an event like the Stand Down, what it does, it actually allows veterans to, to share in um, and sort of kind of be with others that, that are in similar need. So, it, so they, they, they feel a sense of community and they're more than likely to come out to these types of events. So it's really important that here at HACEP that we're involved in this type of program annually. The successful efforts of HACEP's Housing Choice Voucher Program garnered a total of 239 vouchers for veterans with the 2016 stand-down event resulting in 14 veterans assigned vouchers this year alone. KVIA takes a closer look. New this morning, 14 homeless veterans in El Paso have received vouchers to help them afford housing. The Housing Authority of El Paso held a processing event yesterday to hand out the hud Vosh vouchers to those 14 veterans. The vouchers are part of a program implemented by President Obama in 2008 to eradicate veteran homelessness. The funding was supposed to be suspended in 2015, but the Housing Authority received more vouchers this year to help. There's a lot of need out in the community for, for homeless veterans. I mean, as you can see with what we're trying to do with the VA um, for the hospitals, it's very similar to what we're trying to do with the homeless veterans that are, that are in El Paso. Uh, so it's really working with all those partners to find those veterans and bring them here. The El Paso Herald Post captures word from HACEP's board chair, Burt Blackshire, who was present at the processing event to impart congratulatory words for our brave veterans. Chair Blackshire shares, HACEP is honored to assist each of these veterans and their families with the HUD VASH voucher as part of their first step to achieving self-sufficiency. Just like brothers in arms who assist each other on the field of battle with the motto that no one will be left behind, HACEP strongly believes in being part of that process in cooperation with the VA. KTSM News Channel 9 even speaks to a veteran and recipient of this voucher. You're very humbled by the fact that when you get here, that you have this, this chance, you know. HACEP's role in the community continues as implicated by the RAD initiative, drawing local and regional interest in its progress. On a recent visit, Director of Public Housing for HUD's Fort Worth Regional Office, Regina Hawkins, with staff took an in-depth tour. HACEP Production shares her reaction. Well, I can say for El Paso, they put RAD on the map. What they're doing here in Paso with RAD is just amazing. I've never seen anything like it. As far as, this is a model. We use this as a model for the United States as far as I'm concerned because of what you've done. I will assist, I know that the Assistant Secretary has been here and the Secretary also been here with the amazing things you've done in RAD. I think it's a model for what, and, and which the difference is that the, the rents here are so different and it's the idea that follow what you thought about with the, for the uh, actual resident. I think Mr. Shoshan is just great and his, 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 his staff is wonderful. It's your foresight of what you thought about. You thought about things for 15 years to years down the road, and I just really think that's great. Reaching all demographics in this historic transformation for El Paso, KTDO Telemundo reports. Así es como se ve reflejada una inversión de más de 300 millones de dólares en la vivienda pública. Inversión que no ha sido tomada de los contribuyentes, sino gracias a un bono para la autoridad de la vivienda. Ya, ya no se ven como, como vivienda pública, se ven como, como los casas que pueden mirar en todas las partes de la ciudad. Y es para, para tener, um, para las familias que, que, que se ven que también tienen una oportunidad para mejorar sus, sus vidas. KVIA then offers an in-depth report on HACEP's effort to keep all stakeholders updated as captured in the fourth quarterly update to the El Paso County Commissioners. 
And we have some exciting news because a lot of projects are currently underway as we are currently making major strides as we move forward. The Housing Authority of the City of El Paso is nearing the completion of the first of three stages of renovations and improvements across the city, expected to top $400 million in investment by the end of the year from housing and urban development funding and private investment. Um, you can definitely see the the, the difference in, in the buildings and, and um, the investment that's being made and, and how really bright and uh, vibrant and, and you know the, these neighborhoods are becoming as detailed to El Paso.